Welcome CSC 230 to exercise 14. We're going to do this exercise back in our CSC 230 folder so that we can manage our folders, our directories, our images in that directory. And what we're going to do is start making some images, we're going to change some headers, we're going to make some buttons, and then we're going to use JavaScript. So we'll try to put a bunch of things together and not just focus on JavaScript, but focus on everything so we don't lose what we were working on so far this semester. And the first thing we'll do is we're just going to make four headers. And in terms of header size, I went to this SEO website and looked at different header sizes. And we'll use the smallest one, 1024 by 256 as a nice little header image. We could go up to 1280, but we'll stick to a smaller one. And what we'll do is we'll just do like a four seasons kind of thing, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Since I always do things very seasonal, and then I have a course in the fall, and you know we're doing spring stuff, or I'm doing Halloween stuff in the spring, and it's never the same. So we'll do four seasons. And we'll have you make your images just to review that. So what you can do is you could search for images. I'm just going to do farm images because I like farms. And I'll just search for some farm spring planning. So I'll do that first. And I'm going to Photopea and I'll close this up right now and I'll show you that we can go file new because we're not going to paste the same size as the image we're going to make our kind of template first so we're going to go file new and make a new project that's 1024 by 256 if it doesn't say that make sure it says 1024 by 256 they have different templates here that you can use but they didn't have the exact size so I just put that in 1024 256 72 and just hit create and there's our template and then we can just paste in our images so we'll do this quick I'll just go find Find some spring images, uh, some spring planning. Actually, this looks nicer with the field and everything. So I'm just going to copy image and paste it. I'm not sure why that's coming up so small. Uh, let me put on my transform handles, but I guess I'll scale it up. I'm not sure why that's so small. It looks like it just kind of picked up the thumbnail, but that's okay. It looks like it didn't get the 1600, whatever it was saying there. It was saying like 1200, and I have 1024 and it wasn't coming up as that uh, unless I did something wrong so let me just put that in there and let me go back and let me do farm summer get a nice summer shot on the farm that's a nice one there there's a nice shot I'll click on that right click copy image now this says 900 and I'll paste it and that looks right so something was off with that first image but that's okay and that's a nice summer image Move that over a little bit. And I'll call this spring. I'll call this summer. And then I'll just find a fall. And there's some pumpkins. That's a nice one. That's a nice one there. Lots of nice fall images here. I'll get this one. That's 900. Copy image. Go to Photopea. Paste it. Scale it up a little bit not too much if you're scaling it a lot something's wrong that's why something was wrong with the first one and I'll make it as small as I can so everything gets in there and that looks okay and I'll hit enter when I'm done I'll rename it I'll call it fall or autumn if you prefer and again I'm seeing the transform handles if you don't like those you could turn them off they're not as different as in Photoshop the regular one is thinner and then when you have to hit enter to okay it it's thicker but these kinda look the same but just be aware of that to hit enter and my last one will be farm winter and there's some nice winter shots of the farm and I could have used my own I have some nice shots myself but that's a nice one there I think 624 it's a little smaller maybe I'll let's see what this one's uh, 2000 this is a big one so let me copy this one And you can see it's a lot bigger, so I have to zoom out so I can see the edges of that because there's a lot more pixels there. And now I'll zoom in. And it doesn't fit in that well. It gets cut off a little bit, but that's okay. I'll get a little sky in there. That's a nice winter shot. And I'll hit Enter, and I'll call this Winter. And I have my four layers here. I don't need a background layer. It's locked right now. I can unlock it. I could even delete it if I want since I don't need it and I'm just gonna call this uh, seasons and I'll hit OK so it's seasons.psd if I want to save it to my uh, computer I could do that so let me just save it just in case I'll do save as PSD and I'll save it just down to my desktop for now I'll just call it and I'll just call it 14 seasons PSD because we're 
doing exercise 14. So 14 dash seasons PSD. And then the nice thing I could do here is I can go file, export layers, and I can export all four layers at one time. And because they're photographs, I'm going to save them as JPEG. That's the best way to save photographs for the web. And I'll, I'll put them at high. It doesn't matter right now. We can make this file size a little bit smaller if we go down, but we're going to keep it the same size. And it says only layers folders whose name starts with E. So you can specify ones you're going to use. I'm going to uncheck that because I want all the layers exported. And there's nothing else we have to worry about there. And I'll just hit export layers. And this will go on my desktop, I believe, or it might just download. Let's see where this goes. Oh, and it just downloads and it calls it assets. And it's a zip file. So let me go find that. I'll double click on it. It's called assets. And I'm going to change that name. And I'm just going to call it img-farm, just so I know that my farm images. And then we're going to use that folder in Replit. So hopefully we could just upload. I think we can just upload the folder. I don't. Some programs you can't upload a folder, but I think we can upload a folder. But if not, we'll make a folder and we'll put them in there. But either way, we have all our stuff here. And if you need your PSD, you have it. So that's all we need is those images that are 1024 by 256. And I already did that, so I can close out of this. And if I save this, I could close out of that. So I could always open it up again because I did save it to my desktop if I want. So I'm going to get out of Photopea. And I don't need anything here. And I don't need any more farm photos. So I have my images. So I'm going to go to Replit. So here's my Replit account. I'm going to go to my repels. And I should have my CSC. 230W1. I have a whole bunch here because sometimes I fork them in from other students uh, to look at them. But here's mine because that should be the only one there. Let's see what I have here. And there's my EX1 and EX4. I have I don't have all the exercises because I haven't been doing all the exercises, but I'll put mine in here. So you should have all your other ones in here. But I'm going to make a new folder called EX14. And I'm going to make sure I link to it. And what I'll try to throw in here first even though there's nothing in there yet, is let me see if I can copy this whole folder of image-farm. I don't know if it lets me copy folders. Let's see. Oh yeah, lets me upload a folder. There it is, image-farm. So I have to remember that that's the name. That's why I made it very simple. And if you just wanted to do an image, if you wanted to go here and say, well, you know, I know it's on my computer it was image-farm, but here I just want an image, you could go here and say rename and just get rid of the dash farm. That way it's just images. But it's in my EX14. So I have an image folder there. And usually that's what you'll do with your images. You'll keep them in a folder. And what I'll do is I'll make a new index page. So on top of here, I'll go index.html. And unlike our other repel that we're working on, we're going to make this from scratch. So I'll do that. And I'll make another one, and I'll just call it styles.css. I like using styles, but you can call it style just as long as you link to the correct one. So again, we're going to review all this kind of stuff here. That's why we're going back into our CSC 230 repel with all our folders, even though I'm missing some of my other folders. And then I'll even make a file called script.js. So we'll have all all our files there. And again, when you make a new repel, it does these automatically. But I thought it would be good to actually create this for us. So we have our JavaScript, our CSS, and our index. And remember, I think for our index, we put an exclamation point and hit tab. And it does all that cool stuff. And right off the bat, what we'll do is we'll give it a title. And we'll call it EX14 farm seasons unless you use something else if you don't want to use farms you could just put seasons you could put a beach or something and you know whatever you want you can use different images you don't have to use farms I guess is what I'm saying so I'm putting farm seasons here I'll just put seasons in case you're not using farms so I'll call it ex seasons farm I'll put my last name here so I see my name up there when I preview it and what else do we need here in our head tag we need a link and then hit tab and our style sheet is going to be styles.css. Just remember that should be the same name as that. 
and that will link to our style sheet. And then we're going to put our link to our JavaScript right before body. So we could go down here and put, I think, script. I think we do script and hit tab. I think we do script src equals, and I think that's the way we do it. And again, I don't want you to get used to Replit doing it for you. I want to make sure you know how to do that. And you could always check W3 schools, but it's script source. This is link rel. So in here, we'll do script.js. And that should be fine. And also, if you want to put a little comment here, you can put link to JS file. And then if you highlight on this and do command, forward slash it should put that in for you and I'll put extra dashes just as a divider just remember if it turns everything green put an extra dash I guess there's a number of dashes you can have here although I never knew about that before but I'll, I'll put that there and I think that's okay I can open this up in a new tab while that's waiting Oh, that's my home page, so I'm going to have to put a link here. So it's good we're kind of reviewing all this kind of stuff here. So I have nothing in here right now, but what we can do is go back to your main index, your root. Remember, your root for CSC230. We haven't done that uh, since exercise 11. And now I don't have all my different ones here because I had older videos that you were watching. So I'm kind of catching up here. I have it somewhere else, I think, but from a previous semester. but. I started in this repel this semester, so I'll just put EX14 and I'll update my link and I'll call this EX14. And it's not CSS practice, it's uh, seasons and we're gonna call it JS practice because we're gonna do some JavaScript changing the seasons here. But first I wanna link to that. I think that's it. Let me go back here, refresh this. And now I have that. And when I click on this link, it should show us nothing because we have nothing there yet. We don't have anything in our page, but at least our root page is linked up to that. So that's our first part. We're getting our first page linked up to that. So I can move this over now. And then what we'll do is we'll start building our page in our EX14. So we're gonna go into index here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll kind of make a header area and I'll call it header. And I'll give it a class name of pick because it's where our pick is going to go. And inside here, we may do a background image instead of just an image. But for now, let's just get it started. Let's just do IMG tab and let's just put an image in there. And I'll just put spring pick because I'll start off with spring since it's spring now. And my image source that's going to be in there is going to be what? It's going to be my spring pick it's called spring.jpg except remember you have to put img slash because you're going to that directory and then it's going to be spring.jpg so make sure you do all that stuff correctly stretch this out if you need to see the names anything like that copy the name if you if you need to i don't know if it lets you copy this here if it co <laughs> copies the name but uh, hopefully the name is short enough that you don't need to do that. Anyway, let me go back here. So that's our image and it's in a header element. Remember, header's an element and we're using a class called pick. You could also call the class header as well. You don't have to call it pick, but since we're just putting a pick in there, I'll just call it pick. And then below here, we can have a nav area and I'll just put nav and I'll put nav.nav .nav if we give it some class styling. So usually the classes is for the styling. The nav is for the structure. The first element header is for the structure. Nav is for the structure. And then the name, the dot, whatever the class name, that's going to be for the styling. So we'll, we'll kind of stick to that. And then what we'll do in here, we can do buttons. We can do navigation. I'm not even sure what we're going to do yet, but we'll get this started up. And let me just see what I have so far. And we have our image and we'll start working on some CSS. We'll just center it nicely on the page, put a little background color. And what we're gonna do, just so you know, is we're gonna put some buttons here and we'll do buttons that actually change the image. So we'll just do a little more practice with some JavaScript functions, with some JavaScript buttons, just to get a feel for that. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll set it up so that it changes on refresh, so that every time you go to the page, a new one comes up. But we'll start with just controlling it manually with buttons first. So that's where we're going with this, just so you know. So 
I think what I'll do is I'll stop now and we'll kind of build some more HTML and then start styling it with some CSS and then we'll dig into our JavaScript. So this will take a couple videos to do because I want us to kind of review some things. I don't want us to just get isolated on just JavaScript and forget everything else we've been doing. So we'll come back with part two. So make sure you do that. Make sure you get all your images, four images together and they're 1024 by 256. Put them in an IMG folder. Don't use any capital letters, anything like that. We're putting them in our CSC 230 W1, which we've been using for most of the semester, except for the most recent, I guess, the JavaScript exercises 13 and 13B. But now we're going back to here. And we could always copy that stuff in and put it in here and collect it all together if you want to. Uh, I just thought it would be easy starting our JavaScript with a file all started up. Uh, but now we're going through and doing some manual kind of coding here just to refresh ourselves and to make sure we know how to do that and make sure we're not making any mistakes. So we'll come back with part two and continue building this.